Teaching with Technology is a graduate interest group at the University of Washington sponsored by the Simpson Center for the Humanities. It is an interdisciplinary group of graduate students who also teach. We have various roles depending on the department. We might be sole instructors for a course, like a small composition course, or TAing for a large lecture course and having discussion sections. Teaching with Technology really has such a wide range of participants. We have people from geology, we have people from the humanities, we have people from the sciences, we have people from IT, we have people from a variety of campuses. Teaching with technology has definitely impacted my work in the classroom because it's made me take more risks. As a new instructor teaching new curriculum, I'm always worried about making things as clear as possible for students, but also giving them as many opportunities to practice the skills I'm holding them accountable for. And when I'm not familiar with the technology, I'm hesitant to ask it of students, in part because I don't know how to, how to evaluate it, and in part because I don't know how to tell them how to do something. So teaching with technology has given me the opportunity to explore different technologies that I would not have otherwise encountered, and it's also really pushed me to be inventive with my teaching practices. I think it's quite important to use technology in the humanities class specifically. And that is for the purpose of, first of all, leveraging those technologies for student learning. That's our primary goal, of course. But I think that the humanities classroom also offers a space for critique and to discuss the limitations of those technologies, the social implications of the technologies and the divides that emerge around them. So when we can incorporate those types of traditional humanities questions into teaching with technology as we use the tools in the classroom for our lessons, I think that students gain both from both of those traditions because we live in a very different age than when, say, I was in school. When I was in school, we didn't have all of this amazing technology to work with. And on the one hand, it's a great resource for students, but on the other hand, it can and should change the way that we teach because it is changing the way that our students are learning. It's changing the way they're engaging with the world around them. And if we ignore that, I think it's really detrimental to our students and to our own teaching practices.